Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to solve a problem remove duplicate elements from sorted array. As usual, in this video also we will first understand the problem statement then we will discuss its approach and finally we will write its java code. So let's start with the problem statement. So in this problem we have given a sorted array and its size. We have to delete all duplicate elements from this array and update the array such that if there are x distinct elements in it then the first exposition of the array should be filled with them in increasing order. So first exposition of the array should be filled with them in increasing order. So here we are talking about the unique element. So we have to return the new length of the array where all the elements up to that length is unique. We don't have to bother about all the elements beyond that length. So it will be much clear when we see its examples. Also, we don't have to use hash map or set to solve this problem. We don't have to use these data structures, right? So let's see the example. So in the first example, we have given this we have given this array and its size is 5 and we return its length 1. Basically, uh, there is only one unique element in this array, right? In this second example, the size of the array is 3 and there are 3 elements and out of these 3, only 2 are unique. So we return 2 here, right? In this problem, we have to complete this function remove duplicate, which takes two argument array and its size as input parameters. And we have to solve this problem in place. We have to modify this array in place to delete all the duplicates. And we have to return the integer x denoting the new modified size of the array. So from uh, index 0 to index x, all the elements starting from 0 to x is the unique elements in this array. So we have to return new position, new integer x, which denotes the new modified size. So from this position, from 0 to x, we have to put all the unique elements. And the generated output will print all the elements of the modified array from index 0 to x minus 1 just to verify whether from this position to this position all the element present in this array are unique or not right so we have to solve this problem in o and time complexity and without using any extra space so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss how we can solve this problem let's discuss how we can solve this problem efficiently so to solve this problem we simply iterate the given array. We simply iterate the given array and compare the element present at current index, current index to the element present at the next index, right? If it is not equal, it means it's non-duplicate and we place them and move the pointer. So here we need two pointers. So let me just draw it i and j, right? So here we need two pointer one pointer for iterating the array so let's say using this pointer we are iterating the array and the other pointer let's say this one is j for placing the next non-duplicate number right so what i mean is so let me compare this two with the the element present at this index to the element present at next index so whether it's equal or it's not equal so it's equal so it's non duplicate uh, so it's duplicate right so let's move the i pointer at this point and again compare the element present at this index to the element present at the next index again it's duplicate so move the i pointer and we keep the j pointer as it is and compare the element present at this index to the element present at this index so now these two elements are not equal so it's so we put two here and increment the value of j so here in this problem i am not using any extra array i have just drawn this array for, for the sake of explanation 
right we are doing this operation in place now the next element is 11 right so we run the loop will iterate the loop till the value of i is less than n minus 1 array length minus 1 so we iterate the array till this point right and after when we came out of the the loop we can simply take the last value of an array and we put them at the uh, at the index where j is pointing right and after that let's increment the value of j and we are modifying the array in place so we keep this to an 11 and we return the new value of j right so we return the value of j and the value of j is 2 so now the element present from 0 to 1 so basically the element which is present from index 0 to 1 is 2 and 11 and it is the unique element in this array so we return 2 which indicates there are two values which are unique in this array right so let me take one more example so in this example so let's take this array so 2 2 2 and then just this 2 and this 2 right and let's take two pointer one is i for iterating the array one is j for placing the next non-duplicate number right so <coughs> from i we first compare this element with the element presented at its next index so both are equal so i is incremented again we compare these two so they are equal so i is incremented we compare these two it's equal so i is incremented and we keep the j pointer as it is and we compare these two so they are equal right and after this point after this point we came out of the loop and we take the last value right we put it here and increment the value of j so we return the new value of j which is one which indicates there are only one element in this array which are which is uh, which are unique and if anyone will print the element starting from zero which and less than one so it only prints two right so now <laughs> considering this let's see the java code and here uh, so i have declared one variable j and its initial and initialize with zero then run a loop from zero to n minus one array length minus one and we check the element present at current index is not equal to the element present at next index so simply put this value at jth index and increment the value of j and once we came out of this loop simply take the last value of an array and put put it at, and copy at the index where j is pointing and increment the value of j and finally return the value of j so now let's talk about its time and space complexity its time complexity is big o of n and its space complexity is big o of one we are not using any extra space so this is how we can solve this problem without using any extra space so that's it for this video tutorial and thank you for watching this tutorial please like this video and share with your friends if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe uh, our youtube channel where we regularly publish tutorials related to data structure and algorithm related to low level design and system design and thank you thank you very much for your time